Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's live class, Strength and Stretch. We'll get started here in just a moment. Thank you for being here and logging on and hopefully participating with me this morning live. My name is Rebecca Zostek, certified health coach, personal trainer, and fitness instructor here at our beautiful Hope Health Center in Foothill Ranch, California with our lifestyle program. So today's class, as I mentioned, strength and stretch, we're gonna be going through a series of strength exercises for 50 seconds of interval work. And then we'll finish off with some uh, full body stretches. And today we'll do a little bit more stretching with the lower back, the chest muscles, you know, pretty much everywhere, but we'll really focus on that back um, because we're gonna be strengthening back with our exercises for the workout. Um, so with that said, I have a ton of equipment over here. You don't need a lot of equipment. It's just nice to have a variety of weights so you can switch off every now and then. So if you're building your gym and your workspace, you know, have some tools that are gonna help you pro, uh, progress and also regress whenever you need to. So I do have a bunch of weights over here, 12 pound dumbbells, eight pound dumbbells, five pound dumbbells, and then I do have a 15 pound kettlebell. I don't think I'm gonna be using that today. I did some kettlebell exercises last week, so you can always go back to last week's uh, class if you wanna do that workout. It was a, it was a little bit, <laughs> it was a little bit shaky that class, but it was still good, good. Okay, and then I have some equipment for the stretching component at the end of the class. A couple of yoga blocks and a yoga strap. Uh, not really necessary, but it does really help quite a bit. Let me get my timer going. I uh, didn't press the start button on that. Okay, as I normally forget. Uh, so, we're going to get started here in just a moment. Today's class, however, I just want to let you know that I'm going to teach you, unless you already know, how to master a push-up, okay? Um, I have a lot of clients that I work with and push-ups are like, oh no, no push-ups. <laughs> uh, but you know, once you master the technique and build on the progression of those push-ups, it does get better and easier a little bit. Um, but it's such a great exercise to do if you're out traveling and you don't really have anything, you know, to, to work out with. Um, push-ups, crunches, you know, those are gonna be your best your best options, then it's so, so beneficial and effective. So I'm gonna show you some push-ups in some of these intervals, and I'll talk quite a bit about the technique and again, mastering that, uh, that exercise of push-ups. Um, along with that, of course, we're gonna be doing some chest exercises and back exercises. So in between the push-ups, we'll work on back, and then we'll repeat chest, push-ups, back, etc. Okay, so let's see, who do I have with me this morning? I have a few of you. Uh, thank you for logging on. So just so you know, we're gonna finish out June with this class, Strength and Stretch. And then come July, we're gonna be doing core uh, exercises. So every Friday at 9 uh, a.m. starting in July, Improving Core Strength. That's the name of the class, I believe. So we'll work on core exercises. It'll be a lot of different things from week to week planks, crunches, um, maybe like mat pilates type work, um, weighted core, all kinds of different things. So I hope you tune in for that. Please do subscribe and give it the, uh, no, not the thumbs up, but that too, uh, the notification bell. Okay, Rebecca, slow down. Okay, the notification bell, because then you'll get the notification when the class is coming up live and you can get ready for that. And then also the thumbs up. That's also a really great thing. <laughs> okay, let's get started. It's Friday, you know, these things happen on Fridays too. All right, everybody. So we're going to start with a warm up. And, oh, so I know a lot of you know this already, but uh, I have these big, beautiful windows here on my left hand side. And um, there's a really beautiful bunny out there. Uh, looks like a jackrabbit, actually, jumping around. It's probably that, it's like this big. And so. So cute. Okay, now I feel better and relaxed. <laughs> I just had to mention. All right, let's get this going. Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining me. We're gonna get started with the warm up. We're gonna be mastering the push up today. Woo! -hoo. Everybody's excited. We love the push up, right? Let me get this a little bit louder, and we we'll warm up. Okay, everybody standing? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. March back. We inhale up. Exhale back. And again, inhale up. Exhale. One more time. And exhale. Work it out. Now, if you want to, take this to a light dog, be my guest. Or just keep marking, okay? 
get really warm in that core. And we're going to be stretching that lower back. So we want really good blood flow. Heart rate up. March it out. Again, right here. Hey. Four more. Three. Step tap. Side to side. We go. Step tap. It's the weekend. Father's Day weekend. Any dads out there? Happy Father's Day. Dad. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> I'll call you later. Okay. And four. Three. Two. Give me two steps right here. Two steps. Two steps. A little faster. Step together. Step together. Woo. The cardio. Two more. One more. March it out. Woo. Legs wide, everybody. Okay, you come to reaches. Left arm up. Ooh, it's a little fast, right? Take your time with this. And across we go. Reach, reach. Now scoop reach right here. Up. Let's go. Up. One more. Three. Two. Watch your chest press right here. Push. Push. Slide press right here. Good. We're going to repeat this, but let's change the legs. Chest press, tap in. Ha! Stay here. Fly curl. Fly curl. Hey! Ha ha. Gotcha. Come on. Start over. Chest press, tap in. Three. Two. Fly and curl. Here we go. Whoop. Good job. And a four. Three, two, and one. Right here. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Get up. Good. And hold it here. Arms float down. Shoulder rolls back. Three, two, one. Reverse. And hold. Take your left arm across. That stretch right there. Turn and stay a little bit, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Out of sight. I have squirrels in my yard too, so I was like, oh, they're so cute. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's turn that down now. Yes, I know. I've been feeding the squirrel in my backyard, and my husband's like, stop feeding the squirrels. <laughs> okay, we're getting started with our first exercise. So I'm actually going to turn this off now. And we're going to start with a chest exercise. Now, I'm going to have the timer going as I'm talking to you as we're going through the strength work. So don't worry so much about, you know, getting all that work in. I'm starting uh, with a five-pound set of dumbbells, okay? So I'm going to bring the arms up into right angles. Sink down into your legs. Close and open, okay? Exhale, inhale. When you do this exercise, try not to grip the weights too tightly, okay? The weights are just sitting in my hands. I'm focusing on contracting that chest muscles, okay? Exhale. <sighs> Breathing in and out. Just keeping this going. You're almost done. See, with a little bit of talking and lecturing, the interval's a little bit shorter, right? Okay. All right. To be honest, I'm not sure if the you know, timer's going to work that well with our push-up segment. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into back next, okay? And then I'll stop the timer. So let's get some heavy weight. And with our row exercise, we've done this before, you're going to hinge back. Don't drop your chest too low. Arms are just out above your knees. Pull the weights to your hips and right back down. So we want to keep that core nice and tight. Think about squeezing your middle back. Heavier weight for this exercise is really great because back muscles are you know, more broad, larger group. And uh, if not, you know, start with something lighter. It's all good. Squeeze middle back. Good. Exhale. Good. 
exhales. And we want to get that upper body nice and warm anyway before we get into those push-ups. And rest. All right, so it's time to pause the timer as we go into a push-up lecture just for a bit. And what I'd like you to do is you're going to be on your knees. That's a modified push-up. We don't call it a girl's push-up anymore, okay? It's a modified. Um, I have men also that do modified push-ups, okay? There's no shame in that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you start on your knees and you're gonna, if you need a little support, you're gonna just fold over your mat on the end. If you don't have a mat, you can use a folded up towel, just round it up real quick, and then place that over the uh, top part of your knees, okay? So in this position, what we wanna do is think about the arm placement, the hand placement. Put your hands out in front of you, your arms lengthened out in front of you, hands right underneath the shoulders. All you're gonna do is take another hand's length out to the side, boom, boom, okay? And then just tweak your hands out a little to the diagonal angle or a little inward to the diagonal angle. That particular position just depends on you and how you, you know, how your arms move. Um, for some people, they like their hands out a little bit, for some straight ahead, for some tweaked in a little bit. Personally, I like my hands turned in just a little bit. So. In this position, I just want you to listen for a second. A lot of times what happens is I'll, people will do like a little head dive. And there's nothing wrong with that in particular, but you're focusing only on your shoulders. And we wanna get the chest and also in the core. Usually people that are weak in the core uh, will do more of a head dive because the strength from the core quite isn't there yet. All right, so let's get this set up. The knees are open a little bit. Arms out in front of you, another hand's length out. I'm gonna turn my hands in just a tiny bit, okay, as I come down into that position. The other thing here now, everybody, is you want your wrist right underneath your shoulder, okay? A lot of times what happens is people's hands are out above their shoulders, and again, then, then they're putting too much weight in their shoulders. So pull your hands back a little bit, wrist over the top of your shoulders, scoot your legs back a little bit so you feel like your spine is nice and long and it's not in a tabletop. Okay, are we there? All you're gonna do here is go down maybe two or three inches. One, two, right there, right back. As you come up, I want you to think about pulling your belly inward into your back as you come up, okay? So inhale here, Exhale, pull those abs. Inhale, exhale. Let's try five more, five. Four, push. Three, two, one. Well, there's a lot going on with the push-up, right? Another thing that a lot of people will talk, me, talk to me about is the wrists. Yes, you are putting load on your wrists. So it's nice to kind of, we didn't, but you know, it's probably a good idea to kind of just warm up your wrists a little bit, okay? You can kind of stretch them out, especially afterwards, stretch out those wrists. When you do the push-up, okay, you don't want your elbows going outward. So with a push-up, we're very cognizant of all of these little mechanical technique issues, right? Or factors, rather. So we want to make sure Wrist on top of shoulder, long spine, abs are tight, hands tweaked in just a little bit, arms are wide, we come down just a little bit, and push. Come down just a little bit, and push. All right, let's try five again, everybody. Get down on the knees, are you ready? Here we go, and it's five, four. Practice, we have to practice. Three, exhale, pull. Two, exhale, pull. One, what do I mean by pull? You're pulling in the core, you're pulling in the belly. All right, back to the timer. We're starting over with chest exercise and back. Everybody ready? All right, here we go. Getting back onto the timer. Next, next, checks, uh, next chest exercise. <laughs> All right, we're 
Coming down onto your mat for chest press. And here we go. Pushing your weights up over your chest. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. I grab my eights, but I think we'll do another round of these two, this one and back, so we can go a little heavier later. Exhale, push, keep the tempo. Should be feeling a little bit of a burn now, or heat, heat in the arms and the chest. Good, keep working. Where are we? Here we go. And rest. All right. The next exercise now, we're going a little bit heavier. We're going reverse grip row. So let's go ahead and grab our heavy guys here. Reverse grip row. All right, so we have palms up. We're gonna pull the weights up towards our rib cage. Exhale. So with this one, your, your weights aren't going too far in front of you, okay? They're kind of just, you can see they're just above my feet here as I come down. Squeeze middle back. You can even come down lower on this one if you prefer, depending on your lower back. Okay, or you can just come up a little bit. Squeeze middle back. 15 seconds, everybody, let's keep it going. Push-ups and I lose ya. All right, so the next round on the push-ups, we're gonna do wide legs. So this is one you can impress your friends. I learned how to do wide leg push-up, my favorite. What's great about the wide leg push-up is that you have opened your base of support. So you have more gravity supporting your body as you do this push-up. It's always best to start with a short range of motion, okay, so maybe like an inch or two inches. As you get stronger, you start lowering yourself lower and lower. If you need to be on your knees, you're just opening out the legs a little bit wide. So that would be like this. Okay, so you're in wide knee position. I'm gonna come down again, uh, wrists over the shoulders, hands length. I start under my shoulder and take another hands length out. And then I twist my hands in just a little bit. Okay, and so here's your wide knee push-up. We're gonna do wide legs or fully extended. So core comes into play here. Really, really important to keep that core super tight. As you come up from the push-up, you wanna exhale, okay? Make sure you exhale because that exhale tightens your core so you feel lighter to come up. If I breathe out, I'm gonna feel heavier and it's harder to come up, okay? So let me demonstrate everybody first. Hands underneath the shoulders, another hands length out. Turn my palms in a little bit. I'm gonna come up onto my toes and open the legs wide. From here, you wanna push your heels back. Very important to push your heels back because that will keep your legs tight. If your legs are not tight, you will be heavier and it'll be harder to push yourself up. Okay, so let me move these weights, y'all. Move the weights out of the way. Okay, so hands underneath your shoulders. Another hand's length out. Turn your hands in just a bit. Come up onto your toes. Push your heels back. Open the legs. Pull your belly in nice and tight. Are your legs pushing back? All you're gonna do is come down one inch or, or two. Boom, come back up. Down, come back up, take a rest. Okay, another tip on doing that push-up is that you wanna feel the palm of your hand pushing into the floor. So there's a lot of little things happening. You're pushing your heels back, you're keeping your legs tight, 
and keeping your core tight and you're pushing through your, the heels of your hands. So with all of those little things, the push-up looks so easy, <laughs> all right? Okay, it takes practice, I know. All right, so let's try five, either on your knees or full out. Everybody's there. Hands out, open the legs, push the heels back, okay? And we come down halfway, push up. Down halfway, pulling those abs. Inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one. And coming back. Yes? Okay, great job. We're going back to the chest press. I'm going heavier on this set. So let's get ready for that, everybody. And we will get some more music going. How's that? Okay. Great job, great job. We're working today. Come on down with your uh, heavy weights. Ooh. Heavy weights, chest press. Here we go. Push up and down. Training that upper body strength. Exhale, three. Four. I don't know why I'm counting. We have 50 seconds if you just keep going. Exhale, inhale. A lot of luxury that goes on with the push-ups, but it's necessary. Keep going, you're almost done with this one. Up and down, exhale, lift. Down easy, use good control. And rest. Okay, we're coming back up now for our under grip row. So coming on up for that one. Getting ready. Remember your arms are out here, they're not out there. Okay. And here we go with the row. 50 seconds. I'm kind of sitting back into my heels. You can see I can lift my toes. Really stabilizing that core. And squeezing that middle back. Yes. Squeeze. Okay. Keep going, everybody. 20 seconds to go. Feeling that work. I know. We feel it. Come on. Let's go. Woo. 10 seconds now. <laughs> Row. And rest. Okay. Pausing the timer. <sighs> Let's talk about the push up again. Okay. So now we're going to do straight leg, closed leg push ups. And this one now we have some different arm positions we can do. When our hands are close together, of course, we're doing more concentrated uh, tricep push up. So if we are either on the knees or straight out. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Okay, all the thumbs are almost like locking there together. You're pushing your heels back. You're engaging your core. And you're gonna bring your chest through your arms as you push up. Ooh, that's a tough one. Okay, so that's your tricep push up. We'll do that one just a little bit and then we'll uh, do a variety. When your legs are straight, remember that you must push your heels back. Um, for some people, they like to just, you know, don't really concentrate on that, but you can tell that their glutes are really tight and locked in. That really helps with the push-up so that you don't feel so heavy and just dead weight, okay? When we have dead weight, then it's really, really tough to lift that body. So. Tricep push up in a modified position. You want to make sure that you're not in tabletop because we can't really do a push up that way. Hands are underneath the shoulders, thumbs close together, but we need to scoot the legs back a little bit. Long spine from the top of the head to the tailbone, and with that, tailbone tucks under. Okay? Make sure those wrists are right underneath your shoulders. We come down. We push up. Now, if you're just starting out with that, 
Just make it a little tiny bend and come right back up. A little tiny bend and come right back up. Hold on for a second. Um, with that type of push-up, it's really challenging more so to try to do that on a chair or um, you know, on a desk or something. You know, when people do chest push-ups on the wall or the desk or chair. This one, you really, it's a really tough way to do that. So I just would prefer that you try to just go ahead and do that on your knees on the mat. So let's try five, okay? Either for some of you that want to do full legs out or some of us that want to stay modified, it's up to you. So hands underneath the shoulders, thumbs close together. Scoot those knees back. We're gonna start off really small, just a slight bend in the arms and push right back up. Bring your elbows back towards your rib cage. Bend, push, bend, push. One more and rest. Okay, so you really got those triceps. I wasn't gonna do triceps, but the triceps do come into play with the push-up exercise, as I mentioned in the beginning of the class. Push-ups are so great because you're getting core, you're isometrically contracting your legs, you're getting triceps, chest, shoulders. It's the perfect exercise if you don't have any equipment, right? Okay, so let's go back to the timer and we're gonna do a fly exercise. We're almost done. I don't know where I am on the timer here, okay. So, let's go back. Let's go back to a light set of weights. We're gonna do fly, okay? So let me show you that. I'm gonna use eight pounders. Palms are up, palms are up. We're gonna pull the arms together up at the top and down slow, nice stretch across the chest. Pull up, lower slow and control. Try to keep the arms in the same curvature all the way through the exercise so they're not lengthening here and then bending. What happens with, when we do that? We're getting more bicep. When the biceps are just acting secondary, they're just relaxing here a little bit. We're focusing on the chest, coming on down. Exhale, pull. Okay, after these rounds here, we're going to recap on those push-ups and then go right into the stretch. So stay with me. Rest. Okay. Our next uh, back exercise is a lat pullover. These are your latissimus dorsi muscles, okay? We're gonna work on those guys. One heavy weight, everybody, one heavy weight. Coming on down, you're gonna hold that weight on the sides, right over your chin. Take that weight overhead for a nice long stretch. Try not to arch your back. Okay, stretch, hold it, two, three, and pull back. Ooh, right over your chin. Nice long arm stretch, fire those lats, pull. Great exercise here, kind of mimicking that pull down, lat pull down from the gym, you know, that exercise machine. This is doing the same type of work as you pull your arms back. Exhale, pull. Exhale, pull. Good. And rest. I love that one. Love it. Okay. Unfortunately, though, we're out of time to do that whole round again. So if you want to do that one again, go ahead. Uh, we're going to finish off with our push ups. And everybody okay? I don't see anybody. Uh, getting mad at me, so that's good. <laughs> We're gonna recap on the modified push-up, okay? Modified push-up, so on your knees. If you need to make a little pillow on the end for your knees, of course, you can do that. And again, with the push-ups, it takes practice. So you can practice them every other day, every couple of days, or something like that. Just remember to warm up those wrists, okay? The wrists are important. And then also, you know, that you're not torquing out the wrist. What does that mean, torquing out the wrist? So when you're in the push-up position, that you're not putting weight on the wrist and pushing it out of alignment, okay? So that's something that just comes with practice because the more you do it, the more you're going to feel things, okay?
okay? It's proprioception. The more that you do it, the more that you feel it, the more that you adjust to make progressions. So that's why we don't stop, we don't give up, we keep trying, right? And so that's what we're gonna do here. Coming into position, we're gonna pull our hips forward so that we're above the kneecap, okay? Above the kneecap, belly's pulling tight, hips are tucked under, we have the position of the hands just outside of the shoulders, wrists on top of the shoulder, uh, you know, in line with the shoulders, and then another hand's length out, right? Hands turned in just a little bit. Here we go for five. Coming on down, exhale, push one. Inhale, exhale, push two. Nice long spine, exhale, three. Pull that belly in nice and tight, everybody, four. Good job, one more. Five, go ahead and sit back, stretch. Whoo, beautiful. Let me know how you did with these push-ups. I'd love to know. And then maybe later on down the line when we do some more strength work, we'll work on them again. Okay, the next one was our wide leg position. So arms are nice and wide, hands turned in slightly. We have the legs wide, the heels pushed back. So I'm gonna turn my mat actually this way. Right here. So legs are wide. I'm going to come into a nice high plank position. Hands turned in just a little bit. Get that weight out of the way. Push your heels back. Squeeze the rear. Come on down. Exhale, push. Come down to the knees if you need to, or just make this very small. Two. Push back. It's supposed to be a little bit challenging, right? Three, four, exhale, 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 five, rest. Yes, good job. Okay, one more to go, and that's the tricep push-up. Okay, so I'm gonna turn myself back this way. Tricep push-up, okay. Whew, everybody's good. We love the push-ups. Such a great exercise, amazing. Okay, now, tricep push-up, modified position hands close together and you can just keep your hands you know your arms here as you come down into that boom tabletop and then you're going to scoop your legs back and drop your rear forward okay so remember we don't want tabletop here I take that back it's okay if you're there it's okay you can do it like that because if you're a beginner if you haven't done this before it's just going to take training to start adjusting the body. So if you're here and we're doing a push-up like this, there is no shame in that. And um, I would have to say to those trainers that say, no, 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 don't start them out that way. Yes, 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 sorry. Because we have to start somewhere and work on the technique as you practice. So when you're here, it's kind of like any other thing. When you start off doing something, you don't start off doing it perfectly, right? Okay, so if we're here, we're gonna just do a little bit of a bend with the arms, okay? That's all it is, a bend with the arms. As you get better at it, we're gonna drop the whole body down and load the arms, yeah? And then as you get better at that, you're gonna go further down. As you get better at that, you're gonna lengthen the legs out. Okay, so let's try five, everybody's ready. Let's try five, here we go. One, push. Two, exhale, push. Three, elbows near your rib cage. Four, last one, five, and sitting down. Woo, great job. It is time to stretch, everyone. So go ahead and take off your shoes, grab some water, and we will get started with our stretches now, okay? Woo, good work. All right, let's see. What do I have here? Appreciate all your tips. Oh, I used to torque my wrist. Yes. Yeah, you know, when the wrists get torqued out, it's, um, it's not pleasant, and that can really set your wrists up for, you know, um, issues and just being too sore all the time. 
All right, so let's put this guy down and let's stretch everybody. Okay, coming on down onto your mat. Let's start with our back, okay? So we're gonna come on down. Now we did a few back exercises. Arms out by your sides. Just relax here for a moment. Gentle stretch across your chest. Pulling your heels in towards your rear. We're gonna drop both legs over to one side. Keeping your shoulders against your mat. And just close your eyes. Just relax here for a moment. We'll take three deep breaths. Nice big inhale through your nose. Exhale. Again, inhale here. Just feeling that stretch in your lower back loosening up. One more time. Good, and transition back to center. Taking your arms in a scooping motion, bring them down and up overhead. And down, inhale, exhale, lift up overhead, stretch. One more time. And keep them by your sides. Now we'll drop the knees to the opposite side. Keeping both shoulders against your mat. Holding that stretch there. We'll take three deep breaths. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And bring your legs back to center, scooping the arms down and lift up over your head, stretching those lats and coming down and around. Inhale, lifting your arms up. Exhale as they come around one more time. Nice big inhale, reaching the arms up overhead and exhale as they come around. Go ahead and bring both knees into your chest. Lift and lift. I like to do a little gentle rocking motion here. Good. And hold. Now, you can stay right here if you'd like to. But otherwise, I'm going to lift my head and shoulders up towards my knees to get a nice tuck here for a stretch in the back. So a nice big inhale. Lift the head. And the shoulders and bringing yourself up close to your knees you can really feel that stretch happening and lower slowly keep the chin tucked down upper back and then head comes down nice big inhale do that again exhale lift the head upper shoulders upper back hold here and slowly coming all the way back down Go ahead and place the knees down one at a time. Good. We're going to turn all the way over into child's pose. So let's bring the knees down as we transition all the way around. Connecting the big toes together, open up the legs, sitting back into the hips, lengthening your arms out in front of you, really feeling that lat stretch. So it's right through here. Okay, You're just dropping your head down. Release the lower back. Good, and now we're gonna shift forward, coming all the way down onto your mat. Inhale here, exhale as we lift up into Cobra. Now, if you'd like to be on your elbows and you're here, if you're a little more flexible with your lower back, you can come up onto the hands. Here, I'm pushing my legs back and I'm driving the heels of my hands forward. A little tip that maybe, you know, people don't, talk about, but I'm pushing my hands forward to drive that momentum back. Coming on down, inhale. Nice big breath, exhale as you lift, nice and slow, driving the heels of your hands. Good, stay on your elbows, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Coming on down, okay, good job. 
job, everybody. All right. Come over onto your side now. And from here, go ahead and bend both legs, elbow underneath your shoulder. I'm just going to take that top arm in a sweeping motion up and over and bring it down. And again, inhale up and over. And down one more time and sweep it up and over. Good. And hold. From here, we're going to go into a pigeon stretch. So your bottom leg is going to stay bent, pulling it in. Your top leg is going to come straight out and you're just going to reach for that uh, foot with your right hand. Stretching here. So it's your right leg, right? Your right leg and your right hand. You're just holding the stretch and start thinking about all the places you're feeling this stretch. Maybe in your lower back, your side, your hip, the opposite leg. Now, a little tip here. As you're doing this stretch, you can use your uh, left hand you know, to help support you. So you can have it down in front of you. The hand that's holding the leg, wherever that is, you want to think about pulling. Okay, so as you're just stretching here, think about just grabbing onto that leg, okay, and pulling. Okay, so here, and I'm, I'm really trying to drive my body a little bit forward with that pull. Okay, so I'm just here, as opposed to just holding it, right? Let me know if you feel the difference. Okay, of course. Yes, we feel the pull. <laughs> okay, good. And coming up. One more stretch here before we do the other side. Sitting here with one leg folded, we're going to take a nice big inhale, reaching your arms up overhead. Inhale, exhale as you just drive forward. Nice long spine. Here you want to think about someone's, someone has your fingertips and they're pulling your arms away from you. So we have it right here. Unsupported. If you need the support and you have one hand down on your mat, Unsupported, we're here, it's a little bit more challenging. Good, and pull in. One more time, inhale here, and exhale, extend. And inhale, pull in, last time, exhale, extend. Either supported or unsupported, it's up to you. Good, and coming back. So you really feel that stretch through the hip and maybe, of course, too, in your lower back. All right, coming over to the other side. Okay, legs are bent. Here, we're just doing a little bit of a lat stretch. Okay, again, through this upper body here. Nice big inhale with that left arm and it stretches overhead. And coming back. It's a nice way to do this stretch as opposed to standing and doing side side to side stretches. Really lengthening through that arm. Nice big reach up, sweep it up and lengthen overhead. Good, and coming on back. Nice work. Now, the bottom leg here stays bent as your top leg straightens out. So we're gonna come back into this little pigeon stretch here. Well, it's not so much pigeon stretch. That's a different stretch, actually. I called it pigeon, but that's a different stretch that I was going to do, so that's why I had it in my head. So, we'll do this one first. Okay, so, um, this side, I'm going to be frank with you, is a little tight in the hip. This side has always been like this. It just won't go further down. If I were to work on it every single day, multiple times a day, it might be a little further down. But for now, that's where it is, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? So wherever you are with your stretches, there's nothing wrong with that. We just want to try to be consistent and try to get as much stretching as we possibly can. So we're here, and you're going to take that left hand and reach for your left foot. Okay. Hold it there, wherever that is for you. You're just holding the stretch right now. back out so you're going to hold on to that leg wherever that is for you okay we're going to just 
gently pull, okay? So I'm pulling now. Oh, a little goes a long way. You can really feel that hip now, okay? So hold that position. Keep your spine nice and long. And let's release and do that one more time. Nice big inhale and exhale, pull. Supported, nice long spine sitting up nice and tall. Inhale here. Exhale as you lengthen the arms out and you're just being pulled away from your body. This is a good one. I really feel my left hip opening up. And come on back, relax for a moment. Inhale here. Exhale, lengthen. this usually every class I know I mentioned last week let's do it one more time is that when we work on uh, hamstring flexibility we work on stretching our hamstrings that really does help quite a bit with our lower back so if your hamstrings are really tight your lower back is probably very tight as well all right I'm gonna transition now into that stretch as I wanted to do and then we'll just uh, cool it on down, all right? So what we're gonna do, actually, let me start over. What we're gonna do is pull in both knees, okay, for just a moment. And let me demonstrate first. Um, I'm thinking I might use the blocks for this, okay? So let me grab my blocks, okay, to just kind of help hold me up. Now, in the pigeon stretch, this is a little bit more complicated, and it really does help when you don't have your shoes on. Um, these shoes, I don't want to take up too much time taking them off, but what you're going to do is take your left foot out in front of you, and I'm opposite from you, so I'm using my right leg, whichever leg doesn't matter. You have that leg out in front of you, and I'm just going to kind of fall off to the side here. So this leg is in front, okay? Kind of stacked. This is a stack, right? Ben's leg. The back leg, eventually, we want it to be straight. Yeah, that's, that's the hard part. So we start with the leg bent in the front, and I'm going to slowly start pushing my back leg a little further back, a little further back. So ideally, it'll be here, okay? So this is where the blocks kind of come into play. So they really help me to keep my positioning and my um, spinal alignment as opposed to trying to maneuver myself, okay? So you can see how helpful the blocks are, all right? Um, the other thing that you can do is just keep the leg out a little bit further, and yeah, there you go. So a little bit out further, you can lay a block on top or underneath that front leg, that helps. You can use a towel, rolled up towel, um, or a blanket underneath that front leg to help with that. You can lay the front leg over the top of a chair, okay, as you're standing. So that's a really great way to do this stretch here too. I really like the block here underneath this leg. That helps me quite a bit. And now I can come forward into this stretch. So this is a really great one here to open up the hip. Uh, my lower back is relaxed. Really focusing on a good glute stretch. So with that said, you know what this stretch can really help with is your sciatica. If you have sciatica issue, uh, if you have any sciatica pain, we want to release that muscle so that the, um, the nerve isn't getting pinched, right? So this is a really great stretch right here. I'm just going to keep it here for a moment. Nice big inhale. <sighs> I could just stay here for another 10 minutes, to be honest. <laughs> that feels so nice. Okay, let's change to the other side. So, again, just like anything else, sometimes stretches take practice, right? All right, so now my left leg will be in front. And this one should be interesting because it's not as flexible. So I'm gonna start with it bent. And hey, if you want to just keep the legs in a steady position, just like that, you can certainly do that. 
Remember that the blocks allow the floor to come higher so you have better support as opposed to really trying to manipulate and, and get comfortable with this, uh, with your hands on the floor. So whatever works for you. All right, I'm gonna try to push my back leg now further back. This might not be so graceful, but uh, we'll see what it does. Okay. Not so graceful, but I'm just gonna work through it. There we go. Bring that leg out further. So this side is definitely not as flexible, and it wants me to kind of lean into my left hip. So I'm gonna keep this side a little bit more modified so that I can shift my body weight center. Okay? And again, with shoes on, it's not as sorry, we're done with class. <laughs> It's, uh, it, it doesn't um, flow as nicely with my shoes on, but it's okay. All right. So if you're like me and not quite balanced on both legs, we kind of have to just, you know, listen to our body and not force it to do something it's not quite ready for. So for me, this side is tight, as I mentioned earlier. I'm keeping in a modified position so I can maintain a better technique, okay? And I'm just gonna hold it here. Let's see if I can bring myself in front here to kind of work through that stretch. <sighs> the hips, they are muscles that get very tight with all the sitting and walking and stuff we do. Hold this for a moment. Let's see if I can come back up now. Pull that leg back a little further. And you know, it doesn't have to look beautiful or anything. We're just working through it. All right. Let's go ahead now and come back. Legs out in front of you. Ooh, I can feel that. All right, you're good. Nice job. So nice big inhale here. Exhale, reaching forward for your toes. Try to keep your back nice and straight. We're just thinking about pulling the toes towards you, lifting the chest, flexing the feet now. And we're going to round out the back, really expanding that upper back. Stretch it out, inhale here, exhale and lift back up. Inhale here, exhale and really pulling apart your back. Feeling that stretch, expanding. Good, and sitting up nice and tall. Go ahead and release from here. Take your right foot, place it over your left. Sitting up nice and tall, you're gonna grab onto that right knee with your left hand and looking over your right shoulder. Option here to take your right arm out to the side, holding your stretch for that lower back and your hip. Hold it for three, two, one. Coming back center, release that foot or that leg out in front of you. And we're just gonna clasp the hands behind you and gently pulling the shoulders back, lift the chest, bringing your arms up just a little bit. And we're holding here for four, three, two, one, and release. Let's do the other side. Do your left foot now over your right leg. Right hand holding on to that knee, left arm out to your side. <sighs> You, know, you see a lot of these uh, classes where instructors make things, you know, maybe I do too, I don't know, look so easy. But, you know, we're all, we're all human and we're all not perfect, but we, you know, it's consistency. We all need to work on the consistency. It's super important. Come on back and lay out in front of you. Clasp your hands behind you and pull back, open up that chest. Excellent. All right, and release. Let's go ahead and bring the legs in. We're gonna come on up off the floor. Feet together.
together and slowly rolling up through that spine, one vertebra at a time, all the way up, chin is coming up last, and then the head last. Okay, arms coming up for a nice stretch, overhead, inhale and exhale. And again, nice big inhale here, and exhale. <sighs> Well, great job everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Please do give us a thumbs up if you did. Um, that's very much appreciated. Have a fantastic Father's Day weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.